Hello, good evening. Okay, we're done with the exposed pupa or the first caterpillar. Now we're looking at the two caterpillars that are under the soil or in the soil. Okay, this is the area of the spinning caterpillar, the one that made the blanket of soil. And that is the area of the caterpillar that just took over the burrow of the first caterpillar and weaved in some leaves over itself. Okay. Now what did we do? Okay, that is different. Okay, just change the position of the table and um, place it placed a light over it. I think this is much better. I hope I did this for the first caterpillar. But then, I really didn't know what was going to come out of that pupa. I'm just happy to set like a bug or a beetle or something because of the kind of um, pupa it had. It looks like a cockroach shell. Look at that. That is where the first caterpillar, the first moth came from. Okay. So now these two are on its, I think, 14th day under the soil or in the soil. Okay, I hope we see some activity soon because they were just like a day late in changing to green in caterpillars from that of the remember first they were yellow green with uh, white stripes at the back and then it changed to green with yellow so uh, hopefully we'll be seeing activity soon from these two guys okay so I hope you wait for me even if you already know what it's going to look like. Who knows? There might be different designs or shades. But I would expect with the kind of food they're eating, perhaps the pigment of the plant is the one causing the kind of design they have. It's like putting a rose in a dyed water, a white rose in a dyed water, whatever dye you put in there is going to go up the petals and color it white rose artificially. I would expect it's the same thing. So there it is. I am just thinking that if the mariposa is brown and red, it might be the Talisa tree that might be where it's coming from because that is how the leaves of the Talisa tree look like they uh, change from green to red okay okay there you have it bye